Hello Knife Enthusiasts, this is your host Mattisfaction and today I'm just going to do an initial review of what is, I consider, pretty awesome looking cleaver. This is the Topps El Chapo, or if you want to be different, El Chapo, but I'm pretty sure it's El Chapo. So this is how it came. It just came in like a plastic bag not a box or anything, but uh, this is pretty aggressive looking for a cleaver, which, I mean, if you're chopping up some brisket or some pork, you, you need to look aggressive. You're about to have an awesome feast. So like I said, this is Chop Tops, and it's made in USA. This is American made. It uh, retails for about 180 bucks, but I picked it up on Amazon for 120. And it just looks awesome. And I love the fact that it's made in America. It came with a certificate of authenticity. It's 101% hand finished in the USA. I don't know what the other 1% is, but whatever it is i appreciate it they tell you how to take care of it and feed your knife this is made from 1095 high carbon steel which is a really good steel nice american steel uh, this is a uh, pretty thick i don't know exactly how thick I forgot to check. Sorry about that. But let's get into it. So first things first, besides the looks, they gave me a Tops Knives Spe Spec Ops Trust Tops, and it's a whistle. <whistles> uh, it sounds like a train. But, I mean, out in the wilderness, I mean, no animal makes that noise, so it's going to work just as good as any other whistle in a survival situation. I don't want to test how loud it is inside my house. My baby is upstairs sleeping and the last thing he needs to worry about is Thomas coming to take him away in his dreams. So we're going to put that off to the side. We're going to open up this. So this is a black micarta handle. Ooh, that feels real good. It's got nice contours to it and uh, looks like it's got some red liners in there which I think gives it a nice little extra touch to it makes it look fantastic you got your little lanyard hole or something you can hang your cleaver on you can also hang it here if you want it I guess it's tip up or tip down carry it's uh, your preference they give you the option which I think is cool but it feels good that is a nice, comfortable handle. And being my carta, I think as you're chopping meat, getting grease on their juices, you're not gonna have a lot of slippage. I think my carta was a very good choice for that. If they had went with plastic or something like that, you'd definitely have some, some holding issues. Cause you know, brisket's greasy. But uh, let's get this sheath off here. Ooh. That is sharp. Hello. All right, we're not going to worry about that. But as you can tell, it is just an aggressive looking knife. And be careful taking off that little sheath. Ooh. Uh, I was thinking about cutting that out. But you know what? I'm going to leave that in as a safety lesson. This little elastic as I was pulling it kind of snapped back a little bit with my finger. So I'm going to pause for a second. And we're back. Snoopy says, be careful. Whew. So as you can tell, outside of the package, this bad boy is sharp. I don't know why I just said that like that, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah, ouch, don't do that. Anyway, 
So, obviously, if it could slice a finger, it'll slice your brisket. Very fantastic. Uh, one thing I noticed is they had an older model, and back here they had a uh, different kind of like thing there, but it wasn't blade. It was like a, just a chunk of metal there. So they got rid of it, and now it's just completely blade. The cutting edge, I believe, is almost six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, over six. Let's see how heavy this thing is. A pound even. This is one pound. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like when things are even. But this is a fantastic feeling knife. It's got some heft to it. This thing will definitely plow through some chicken bones. And yet it's delicate enough to do some fine work. I mean, you can get down on there if you need to. I don't really need to do a sharpness test, but we're just going to slice this. Slices like no one's business. It's got a great cutting edge. But this is just a quick review or initial review of the Topps El Chapo. I have not used it yet. Uh, I obviously need to clean it now because it's already got a thirst for blood. I feel sorry for the uh, next chunk of meat that this thing's going to meet as long as it's not me. But yeah, just it, it feels fantastic. The micarta handle is very comfortable. Uh, I think you can get a lot of work out of it. Very good steel, the 1095. Uh, the thickness goes all the way through. Here we can get a little, little front profile shot. It comes down to a nice point. It's got some black stuff on there. No, not it, it's not me, but it's just a really cool utility knife. Like, I mean, you can do more than chop. I mean, you can you can get down on it and just do whatever you need to do. Even scoop very carefully, very carefully. All right, but we're going to get this back on, tuck it in, tuck it in, go to sleep, little guy. Go to sleep. Let's see. Okay. Apparently I'm just going to look like a fool again. This blade once more. There we go. Okay. Back end first and then the front. You got to park it in the garage and then pull out a little bit. Uh, yeah, so very comfortable. The sheath is good. It's Kydex. So it's form fitted. The uh, elastic works very well. This sheath is not going to come off as long as that's there. So you got to be careful when opening it. Don't do what Matt did. But it's just a awesome looking cleaver. I can't wait to use it. I will show you guys this in action real soon. Maybe get some carnitas going. Carnitas. But uh, yeah, this is uh, awesome. I recommend it so far. And that's not even using it. I mean, just holding it. I recommend it. Especially if you love to support American-made items. And Tops is known for their quality. They, they have earned their name Tops. But uh, yeah, so... Thank you for this quick little initial introduction to this. Uh, I think I will nickname it The Biter, even though El Chapo is already a cool enough name. Um, yeah, so thank you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have one of these, leave it in the comments. 
Uh, feel free to make fun of me. I know Snoopy's got my back, but you know, I take con criticism uh, sometimes well. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so just uh, let me know what you think. If you have one, if you use it, um, what sorts of applications do you use it for? I plan on using this thing on brisket, some pork, uh, just your your basic meats. Maybe I'll take this thing onto some vegetables, see how this does against an onion. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I don't want to drone on and on any more than I already have, even though I'm currently doing it right now. You'd think I'd know when to stop, but I don't. So I will just let it go. Uh, thank you very much. And I will catch you guys next time.